Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Singer Review. Today I'm going to be talking about episode 7, which was Hall of Fame Night. So, for those who need context, Hall of Fame Night was basically everyone who was on the show in masks was in the Hall of Fame for some reason. Could have, could have been in the Hall of Fame for anything. They just had to be in a Hall of Fame to be on this episode. And we got some brand new masks. One of them, I think, takes over, for me at least, as my all-time favorite costume that has ever been on this show. So, a little, little bit of context for that. The costumes in, in Mass Singer have been amazing, in my opinion. I, I don't think there's ever been one singular costume that I have actively disliked in any way. <laughs> even, like, the baby costume I thought was funny. Even, even, even if it was creepy. It was still funny, and, you know, I, I've i never outright hated any costume on this show. But obviously, because I'm human, I've, I've had my favorites. First, Robot was my favorite costume. And that held the record for a good couple of seasons. And then, Snail. Snail took over as, as my all-time favorite costume because it wasn't just somebody walking around in a, in a rid ridiculous costume. That one was actually a lot like a rolling costume. And I think that one is still def definitely in, in, in the top three. And then we got Hydra. That costume I just thought was sick. And that took over second place and knocked Robot down to, th to third. But then, on Hall of Fame night, we got Venus Flytrap. Which, honestly, just on, just on the, the design of the costume is... Probably my all-time favorite costume, dethroning the snail. Just because you couldn't even tell where the head... You, you, you could not even tell, like, how tall the guy was. Because you didn't really know where his head was supposed to even be. Or, or, well, yeah. I'm going to stick with his head, because he was unmasked, and it was a guy, so... That's why I say that. But, something else that I need to say before we actually get into the who, what, when, where, why. Ken was not on this episode. He said on Instagram that he had contracted COVID for... He, he got COVID while they were filming. So, he could not be there... For, the, for that particular episode. I'm not sure if he's going to be there next episode either. I doubt it, but we'll see. So, in place of Ken, they got Joel McHale to be on the show. And they also had the late Leslie Jordan on for his, his final episode as well. And what I thought was really sweet was... They dedicated the entire episode to him. And they had a little montage for him at the end, which I thought I thought was just so sweet. And Yeah, gone too soon. To be fair, I hadn't really seen much that he was in, but he still seemed like such a sweet and wholesome guy. And it, it's still, e even though I didn't know much about him beforehand, it, it still sucks. It still really sucks. <laughs> okay. So, on with the episode. First new mask was The Bride. Which basically, I think it was meant to be a play on Bridezilla. It, it's basically a pink version of Godzilla in a wedding dress and veil. And it's hilarious. So, the weirdest thing about Bride is 
just looking at it and hearing the name, you would expect it to be a woman. It was not. It was a dude. And possibly had a British accent? Or maybe it was fake. I, I, don't, I don't know. I legit did not have a working theory as to who I thought that was. So, Bri did Shut, shut, shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. Good song. Some clues were a rose, a pin that had the rock and roll hand signal on it, you know, this, and a globe with a crown on it. All those, all, all those are kind of lost on me. The only thing, thing I could possibly think of is that that has to that the, it might be a Guns N' Roses thing because of the rose and the rock signal, but I have no idea. Some guesses for Bride were Steven Seagal, <laughs> Carrot Top, and David Coverdale, lead singer of White Snake. <laughs> Next up was Gopher. It's like a Gopher cowboy mask, and it, it was a good mask. He did It's Your Thing by the Isley Brothers. Some clues for him were he's won a Grammy, there was a UFO, and he mentioned that something of his is in the Smithsonian, which is a big deal. Some guesses for him. This is probably my favorite Leslie Jordan guess of all time. It's so funny. He's, Leslie said it was Flav of Flav. And that is so funny. Other guesses were George Clinton and Martin Lawrence. Next was Venus Flytrap. Like I said, all-time favorite costume, and I love it to death. He did Get Ready by The Temptations. And it he did a great job. I thought he, he should have moved on. At least to the Battle Royale, personally. Some clues were Horseshoe. You had a piece of me in your home, and there was a medal that said 10 million on it. And for all of the masks, their onstage clue, they literally brought a goat onto the stage that had a medal around its neck, and the medal had a clue on it. So the 10 million medal was brought in by the goat whose name is Hawkeye, which is hilarious. They actually said, they actually had, like, the little blurb at the bottom when they say, like, when they unmask people, they usually have the thing at the bottom that says, that says who they are. Well, they had, that, they had that for the goat, too, and it was hilarious. Some guesses for Venus Flytrap were Mike Tyson, Charles Barkley, the basketball player, and George Foreman. And I thought all of those guesses were phenomenal. I, I would have reasonably believed it was all three of them if that was even possible. So, on to the unmaskings. Sadly, my, my boy Venus Flytrap got, on, got unmasked first, and it made me sad. But, for once, I got a guess right, because I sided with Robin, and it was George Foreman. And I was hyped, because I'm very rarely right on this show. I think, as far as guesses that I have made, where I have not had any sort of outside help, my total is like... I mean, and by that I mean guesses that I have come up with or organically. I've had... Counting this one four, because I'm rarely right, and I'm, and I'm just going to count this one because I don't care anymore. But as far as those go, I've had four right. I got Pineapple, which was Chong, like Chi, like, like Tommy Chong from Cheech and Chong. I got Cluedo Do, which, which was Donnie Wahlberg. And I got Baby right, which, which was Larry the Cable Guy. So... I'm adding Venus Flytrap to my list of correct guesses. So now, Battle Royale. 
It was Gopher and Bride. And they had another Hall of Famer, which, which was Sheila E. from the Drumming Hall of Fame. She was good. And literally, when they sang the Battle Royale song, I laughed out loud. Because it was All Star by Smash Mouth. Now, to be fair, that song is good. And I'm not knocking that song at all. But that, that song has been memed so many times because it's association with Shrek that I can't... That if it just comes up naturally, I can't help but laugh because that song it makes me think of that the memes every time. But they both did well with that song. So Bride actually moved on. So we had to unmask Gopher. And Gopher was George Clinton. He was from, I think it, I think the band's called like Funkadelic something or other. But I'd never heard of him before. But Robin and Nicole got, got that right. But that was, a, that was a really fun episode. And I'm excited for the episode that's coming up next, which is Comedy Roast Night. That's going to be funny. And we're getting two new masks. We are getting Snowflake and Avocado. Now, when I saw the Avocado mask on Instagram, I'm like, really hitting the bottom of the barrel now. But the costume still looks good, and I'm excited to see who it is. So, that's going to that's gonna be it for this one. I will try and record something sooner so that I'm not doing this all last minute but I'll see you guys later bye